Episode 112, Hilarious Hobby Hunt. So, let's talk about trying to pick up a new hobby. It's like voluntarily signing up for a whirlwind of hilarity and humiliation, all bundled into one package. You know, I decided to pick up gardening recently. Yeah, I thought, how hard could it be? I'll just plant some seeds, water them, and voila! Instant green thumb. Well, turns out my green thumb is more like a black thumb, because everything I touch turns into plant graveyard. Seriously, I managed to kill a cactus. A cactus. It's like nature's version of a participation trophy. But hey, there's something oddly satisfying about attempting new things, even if they end up in utter disaster. Take cooking, for example. I thought I could become the next Gordon Ramsay overnight. Spoiler alert, I can't. My cooking skills are so questionable that even my smoke detector goes off just by looking at a recipe. And let's not forget about the world of music. I decided to pick up the guitar once, thinking I could become a rock star. Yeah, well, after a few weeks of torturing my neighbors with my unique rendition of Smoke on the Water, they started to leave earplugs and noise complaint forms outside my door. I guess the rock star life wasn't meant for me. But you know what? Despite all the failures and the bruises to my ego, there's something incredibly liberating about stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things. It's like a wild adventure with unexpected twists and turns. Like that time I tried rollerblading for the first time and ended up face planting into a parked car. Good times, good times. So, my friends, don't be afraid to pick up that new hobby. Embrace the laughter that comes with it, both the joyous and the self-deprecating kind. Who knows, maybe you'll find a hidden talent or, at the very least, some hilarious stories to share. And if all else fails, remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the absurd journey of trying not to make a fool of yourself. So, I've been thinking a lot about hobbies lately. You know, those things we all try to pick up to make our lives a little more interesting, but end up driving us crazy instead. It's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube while blindfolded and juggling flaming torches. Fun, right? Now, let me tell you about my experience with picking up a new hobby. I decided to try painting, thinking I could create beautiful masterpieces like the great artists of old. Well, let me just say, my first painting ended up looking like a preschooler's finger painting on a sugar rush. Picasso would have taken one look and said, what the heck is that? It's like my brush had a mind of its own, and it was determined to sabotage my artistic dreams. And don't even get me started on learning a musical instrument. I thought it would be a piece of cake. I picked up a guitar and started strumming away, imagining myself serenading crowds with my amazing skills. But what came out of that poor instrument was a sound that could have shattered glass and caused neighborhood dogs to howl in agony. My fingers felt like they were doing some kind of twisted acrobatics, trying to contort themselves into impossible shapes. It was a harmonious disaster. But you know what? Despite all the frustration, there's something oddly addictive about trying to pick up a new hobby. It's like a roller coaster ride for your sanity. Every failed attempt only fuels your determination to conquer that damn hobby. It's like we're masochists for fun. We willingly subject ourselves to the torture of learning something new, all in the name of personal growth and maybe impressing our friends. I mean, who needs sleep, right? And let's not forget the countless hours we spend watching tutorial videos on YouTube, as if somehow, magically, that will turn us into experts overnight. I'm guilty of that, I admit. I've watched more how-to videos than I care to count. But here's the thing, those videos make everything look so easy. Just follow these three simple steps, they say, as if those steps don't require the dexterity of a contortionist and the patience of a saint. But hey, despite the struggle, there's something beautiful about the journey. It's not just about picking up a hobby, it's about picking up pieces of ourselves that we never knew existed. It's about pushing our boundaries, challenging our comfort zones, and discovering new passions. And who knows, maybe one day we'll actually become decent at these hobbies and look back at our humble beginnings with a mixture of laughter and pride. So, my fellow hobbyists, let's embrace the humor in trying to pick up a new hobby. Let's laugh at our failed attempts, embrace our inner klutz, and remember that it's not always about the end result but the joy and laughter we experience along the way. After all, life is just one big canvas waiting to be painted, one wonky guitar chord at a time. I'm here tonight to talk about the hilarious adventure of trying to pick up a new hobby. Now, I don't know about you, but I've attempted more hobbies than I care to admit. And let me tell you, the struggle is real. You know that feeling when you decide, hey, I need something new in my life. 
I'm gonna pick up a hobby. It's like a burst of motivation slaps you across the face. Suddenly, you're convinced you can conquer the world with your newfound passion for knitting or underwater basket weaving. But here's the thing, folks, reality has other plans. I remember the time I thought I'd give painting a try. I walked into an art supply store feeling all artistic, as if I had a hidden Picasso within me just waiting to be unleashed. But then, I stood in front of the paintbrush aisle, completely overwhelmed. I mean, have you seen the variety of brushes they have? It's like trying to choose a toothbrush in a toothpaste commercial, so many options, so much confusion. And let's not forget about the online tutorials. Those videos make it seem like anyone can become the next Bob Ross, effortlessly creating landscapes in minutes. So, there I was, staring at a blank canvas, trying to recreate a majestic mountain scene. But instead of majestic, my mountain looked more like a lumpy potato with a bad case of acne. I couldn't tell if I was painting nature or just the aftermath of a food fight. But hey, I didn't give up. Next, I decided to try playing the guitar. Now, I've got to be honest with you all, I have the rhythm of a tree stump. But I was determined to make some beautiful music. So, I bought a guitar, strummed a few strings, and instantly realized my fingers were more tangled than a plate of spaghetti. It was like trying to thread a needle with boxing gloves on. And don't even get me started on the blisters. My fingers looked like they had been in a fight with a cheese grater. People say playing the guitar is about passion, but all I felt was pain. I was a walking advertisement for band-aids, folks. You'd think I was auditioning for the role of the human pincushion. But hey, despite the trials and tribulations, I've come to realize something. The real joy of picking up a new hobby isn't in becoming an expert. It's in embracing the journey, the laughter, and the absurdity of it all. Because, let's face it, my attempts at painting and playing guitar might not win any awards, but they sure make for great stories and even better comedy routines. So, if you're out there trying to pick up a new hobby and you're feeling overwhelmed or slightly ridiculous, just remember, you're not alone. Embrace the humor in your failed attempts, laugh at the absurdity, and keep on trying. And who knows, maybe one day, you'll find that perfect hobby that's just right for you. But until then, enjoy the laughter along the way. Thank you, and remember, don't be afraid to let your inner Picasso create a masterpiece or two. Even if it looks like a lumpy potato with acne. <laughs> And that wraps up another laughter-filled episode of Not So Funny A. Eh? If you enjoyed the jokes generated by our AI algorithms, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our comedy-loving community.